Greetings, it's Jennifer Marks, Editor-in-Chief of Home and Textiles Today. And I'm Warren Schulberg, and if all of us have noticed uh, an increase in the number of bodies at market mm -hmm. this week, which I certainly have, I think it's the onslaught of online. Uh, uh -huh. Just a lot more e-commerce people walking around and buying and shopping. That's a good thing. I think so. Well, let's go get some perspective on that. Sounds good. We've seen a significant increase in terms of the number of e-commerce customers. Um, I, I would describe it as just about anyone who's got a domain name nowadays is hawking something. The economy Im impacts consumers when businesses are driven by impulse purchases or discretionary spending. The bulk of the home furnishings business is driven by base need, meaning the consumer just absolutely has to go buy it. I think if, if we as an industry and all of our retail partners and those of us on the supply side want to change something significantly about our industry, we need to find a way to excite the consumer. We need a dynamic shift in our industry, and that dynamic shift lies when the consumer is more excited about the products that we're selling. Yes, we're, um, we're very, very engaged in, in the e-commerce um, uh, business. Uh, we, we honestly believe that it's the future. Um, we have incredible strategies, both for our brands and our private label businesses. Uh, we see more retailers who weren't in home before, who will now go into home as an online play. Uh, retailers with tremendous points of view from lifestyle perspective. Uh, you can launch brands today with dot-com only. The, the numbers are large enough to do that, and they can get to, you can get to the minimums. And obviously, from a technical perspective, we've, uh, over the last year, become uh, very proficient in drop shipping from our warehouse directly to our customer's customer. We still decided we don't want to do it ourselves. Okay. I think that it's very dangerous for people like us to think that we can become online retailers. You, you can go um, open up an online site and just hear crickets. You really have to go with the guys who really know what they're doing and how to bring the community in to buy. But if you can find ways to service um, the online play, I think we, uh, one puts oneself in a, in a tremendous competitive advantage over the next decade or so. Well, I think that's a wrap for us for this Market Week. I believe it is. Thank you for watching. Please check out our newly reformatted magazine. Follow us online. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter. And anywhere else, we're going to wind up popping up and have a great rest of the market. Bye. Thanks.